Hi there, just a quick video on the 795 Murray Fisher. This is the uh, 2020 version. Um, as you can see, the paving platforms are all one level. This one's got the teak inlay, which is an upgrade. Got this nice hoop here for holding on to when you're getting up onto the boat and also when you're stepping on from the pontoon. Nice grab hold. The ladder here folds away into this section here, so it's all flush. Um, this one here is going to be rigged with either a 175 or a 200 horsepower Yamaha. Uh, the seat here slides forwards, so when the engine's trimmed up, it doesn't uh, get in the way of the seating. Uh, again, another flash, flush, sorry, platform. Storage for fenders, warps, or a coal box. Um, coming down here, you can see you've got scuppers where the in water drains out from the self draining decks. And you've got these D bolts here for attaching a ski line to or towing like a wakeboard or something like that. Right, up we go. This one's just been cleaned. Got a bit dusty over the uh, lockdown. So you've got U shaped seating. There's lockers in these sections here and here as well, and covers. And then in the corner here, we've got a table, and that goes into this space. Here is a cockpit table or drops down to make a sunbed. Um, it's all cushioned all the way around and you've got uh, backrest cushions as well. Across the back here, the little seat goes in just here as well. So the whole of the back of the boat has some, a long seat on it. These sections here, much like the previous model 755 can be unscrewed and removed. I've got a little thumb screws in there. Um, it's wider again on the starboard side to walk around the side decks. You've got um, fresh water goes in here. That's a great water tank over there. The, uh, up here, the um, wheelhouse extends back to give you some protection underneath when it's raining, keep the sun off you. And you can have an aft closing kit. So a bimini goes back here and it closes the whole of the cockpit area. Right, quick look inside. Okay, the first thing you notice is a triple door, so a big space walking in here. This one's got the Dulux galley, so it's got stainless steel cup holders, um, gas stove, larger sink, and really nice storage under here. And the seat here unclips and goes forward to make a nice large preparation surface. Um, the windows here. Right, we have this lovely molded dash here. Hydraulic steering, fly-by-wire controls, Yamaha digital readout gives you your economy, flow, burn rate, speed, etc. The seat here rolls forwards and backwards and it's at the same position as the helm seat so you can sit beside the helmsman which is nice um, there's an infill here to make a large double berth here or the table that's down below there we'll sit in here so you can sit around the table and you've got a really nice eye line here through these deep windows down below in the cabin there's a vanity curtain that goes across here and you've got large double berths full of cushions at the moment. These are the exterior cushions. There's an infill V that goes across here. So you can still use the toilet door and keep the beds made up. And you sleep two people cross ways like this. So one there and the other one there. Usually head up there and feet down here. There's storage down here as well. And there's a hatch in and out. There's also a curtain to go across that. So that opens the now air in. And then inside the head itself, you've got a marine toilet, there's a holding tank, a fresh water tap, and a porthole which opens. Bolster seat at the helm. storage under these sections here, here and here, under the seat, and there's storage underneath the cushions up there, 
and large storage under here. Now you have faster heating, we put the heating unit in there and put the diesel reservoir in underneath the lazarette here. Fuel tanks in this section here, access to the fuel filter there, and your batteries are kept under here. There's a the shore power isolators, and there's a bit of storage here and here for fenders and warps. Um, there we go, there's a hatch down below. Um, you can see the midship cleat on this side here, which is a new option for the 2020 boat, so you can tell which ones are 2020, which ones are 2019. Um, okay, came back down here. I'll spin the camera around, you can have a look at the cockpit. It's a much beamier boat than the 695, this one. Um, and the beam makes it more stable and it makes the cockpit feel much larger. And if you have the half-closing kit, it literally runs from here and tents this whole section off here. Creating another living area, so it's a good option to have. Yeah, so we've got the other side there. Lots of handles to grab hold of. There are rod holders as standard here. Let's have a quick peek back inside. The great thing about having these triple sliding doors, it makes the interior feel part of the exterior of the boat. So you don't feel like, you know, us and them, you've got family out the back here and you're helming, you don't feel so left out because you can be sat in the back seat here and you've got direct line of sight straight through to the helmsman. Anyway, for more information, have a look at our website or give us a call. Many thanks for watching.